Hello my fellow NO fans, my name is Peter and welcome to my 5 naval combat tips for NO 1800. In this video I will talk about how to stop pirate attacks, what are strengths and weaknesses of different ships, why you should farm pirates for loot, how to outmaneuver enemy ships at sea and how to attack the pirate hideout. Pirates in NO 1800 are a nuisance and a potential ally all rolled into one. But during this video I will consider them only as enemies. Each time you start a new game with the pirates enabled, they start small and grow alongside other traders and the player. But what you might have missed is that you, the player, are at the advantage here because of your flagship. It is much more heavily armed than the pirate ships and you can use it to clean up the seas of all the pirate ships at the start of the game. If you then make gunships early on, you can then use them to chase down enemy new pirate ships which spawn at the pirate's island and destroy them quickly when they leave the protection range of their base's guns. By setting up your ships just outside the fire range of those stationary guns and at the entrances and exits to the pirate island, you can blockade the pirates and cut them off from the rest of the map. A small fleet, 3 to 4 ships on each side of the pirate island will keep the entire map clear of them. When the pirates eventually deck up, you will need to upgrade those hunter-killer fleets with stronger ships. Besides these naval combat tips, I have made several videos with tips about production chains, citizens, money making and many other gameplay concepts which you can check out by clicking on the link up here on the right and in the description below. Now for my second tip of this video, I want to teach you that there are many ships in NO 1800 and each one of them has its own strengths and weaknesses in naval combat. The most important deciding factors are speed, the turning speed, guns and the hull hit points. The gun stat can be additionally broken down by fire rate, range and firing arcs. A pirate gunboat is just a stronger version of the regular gunboat you can construct, so its strengths are its high speed and front facing cannons making it an awesome hunter ship. But its low hull hit points and the limited fire arc means that if you attack it from the back or the flank, it can't respond and it is quickly sunk. The frigate is another fast ship, but its firepower is limited to its side fire arc, so if gunboats were to chase after it, they would have free reign of it unless the frigate managed to turn to its side and deliver its powerful broadside. Similarly, the frigate can outmatch the ship of the line, which has far more firepower, but its turn radius is so much bigger that the frigate can practically dance around it using the wind direction to stay at its back or front and keep delivering broadsides. More on this a bit later. If you have been enjoying this video, please don't mind me reminding you to hit that like button below and leave a comment about what is the hardest thing for you in NO 1800. You could also subscribe if you would like to see more content like this. Your starting flagship is a hybrid of sails and steam power, which gives it the unique ability to turn much faster and have a higher lowest speed when sailing into the wind. You can use this advantage to sink many pirate ships as explained in the first tip. And so this is a very good intro into my third tip for this video, which is about sinking and looting those pirate ships. Once you start to really hunt them down and sink them regularly, you will notice that pirate ships leave debris and flotsam after them in form of collectible loot. This can be simply rum, which is a valuable good, but you can score amazing loot like torpedoes, damage boosting items, captains, different characters or items which boost production, range and effect of buildings on your islands. But this I will explain in a future video. If you don't need some of these items, you can sell them and earn quite a bit of money even enough to buy a whole ship. As I mentioned, the wind can be a powerful friend and an awful foe when it comes to sailing ships. It decides the maximum speed a ship using sails can travel at. If you are going where the wind is blowing, you will get there much faster, but if you are going in the opposite direction, it will slow you down to a quarter or less of your maximum speed. This is why you can use this to your advantage when planning ambushes on enemy ships. You need to watch the wind, set up a few ships scattered around the map and wait for the opportune time when the enemy ships are sailing against the wind. Attack them from the side which lets you keep facing your cannons against the helpless ships and keep maneuvering to stay in a position to use the wind to keep your ship out of the enemy's firing arc. This of course won't be much use when you decide to go for the source of the pirate threat. They are not so hidden but heavily fortified island. The first layer of defense you will face are the long range, low fire rate cannons which you can swarm with a fleet and destroy quite fast. Those are exposed and often aren't supported by other cannons. 
But if you really want to kick the parts out of their home, you have to get in close. And this is where a lot more cans have overlapping fire arcs and ranges and where the big betty awaits. The smaller gun emplacements do not do as much damage but are numerous and take a while to destroy. While the big betty is a monster gun and even with its low fire rate can sink many ships before you manage to take it out. You should really weigh your options when considering whether to conquer the pirate island or make friends out of them as this will enact a high cost in ships and your economy. And do know that even when you do kick the pirates out eventually, they will keep spawning into the map and trying to get back to the island so you will have to keep intercepting them time and time again. So my best advice would be to quarantine their island, set up a military blockade and just farm them for loot. And on the subject of farming, I have a lot of tips about production and other parts of Anno 1800 gameplay you can check out on my channel by clicking on the cards up here on the screen. Thank you for watching and happy gaming!